So, all right, everybody, we're going to be talking about the first and second episode of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Uh, we're fresh out of yeah. watching them. Uh, we're going to do a non-spoiler in the beginning, just kind of talking overview about everything. And then we're going to get a little bit into spoilers because some scenes were just absolutely magnificent that we have to kind of talk about. But overall, um, for me personally, overall, these first two episodes... I've been absolutely fired. I, I, I think yes. they've been doing an amazing job with this. Uh, and man, uh, just kind of just following Obi-Wan and just seeing how like um, how, how much he's given up. Like yeah. how much like that's that wasn't Obi-Wan back in the day. And yeah. I know that pains him so much to have to be that way. Having to ignore, you know, people hurting, you know, people taking advantage of other people, you know, him, you know, refusing to help that one Jedi that actually ended up in Tatooine as well, you know, and, and just ha watching him just get killed by the Inquisitors. Um, it's just like, damn, it's just 10 years of just him just, you know, pretty much giving it's up. That, that regret, you yep. know. He had one job and he failed and it cost him everything, everything. And now he's just wanting to do his only thing is just look after Luke and, and yeah. just seclude himself from all that. So he doesn't put anybody else in danger, but Which it um, shows he, he gave up training. Yep. He didn't because do he, what Yoda said. He yeah. Just, Cause he's not being able to talk to Qui-Gon. I can imagine the beginning he kind of did, but because he kept secluding himself you know, pushing the force away, uh, you know, it, it just, it just, he hasn't been able to do that. And it's just That's like, why it was hard for him to almost catch her. Yes. In that one scene, which we will it, talk uh, about it. Yeah. Uh, and, and a little bit spoiler free, but yeah, just seeing the struggles of Obi-Wan right now is just damn, just insane. And, and and watching uh uh just again this we're gonna go into a little bit of spoilers now just a heads up but overall though episode one was awesome and episode two just was it's just it's a great conti they're continuing everything at a nice little yep. pace and it's awesome and leaving us with some good little cliffhangers each episode to keep wanting to continue um and uh episode one again a solid nine out of ten i think it was a great way to kick off the series uh, episode two right now i'm gonna give it a good i'm gonna give it like an eight uh almost a nine i'm gonna say like an eight because i i i truly loved it uh, the world and and the scenery in in episode two was beautiful but i i will agree with uh with eagle heart on on what we said about rava um uh her character is a little bit yep. um overbearing i want to say um yeah not that i hate her character or anything like that like it's just um She's like my I, least Favorite. Yeah, at so least cool. favorite out of everybody right now. Mm -hmm. And but I believe I did read that she is going to be one of the main uh villains that Obi-Wan will be facing throughout the entire series. So, uh hopefully I, she we get to her, her character gets to build off a little bit more. You know, cuz yeah. what we're seeing right now is a little like ah, like I I want to like her, but it's just like the just it's just um it's just a little a little rough right now. She's definitely not my favorite right now. Yeah. Uh and uh, but Eagleheart, your thoughts on both episodes, real quick, spoiler free. Freaking loved it. I don't even know what else to say. It's like I waited ten plus years, years. for a Kenobi series, <laughs> and finally we get it. So absolutely I amazing. No, I have no complaints. I love that little. I, I it's up to you to call it a cameo or not, but I loved it. Which we will talk about it right now because. We got to talk about that. Right? It's great. But Just, everything overall has been great. I can't wait for the next four episodes. And yep. I can't wait to see Hayden Christensen in full Darth Vader armor going off. Right. Or at least see him, like, uh, getting suited up. Because there was a suited up scene in the trailer. So I can't wait to at least see that. Maybe see him in uh, Dathomir, right? I believe that's the that's the planet that he, he's got his castle. Oh, Mustafar, Mustafar, excuse Mustafar. me, uh, so, Mustafar. I hope season or episode three starts off with him getting his suit put on. Oh, that that him hearing him say Anakin and just yeah. just have that little sequence with Vader 
would be beautiful to kick off the next episode, honestly. 100% right. agree. Uh, now let's dive into a little bit of spoilers, everybody. So spoiler, uh, if you guys haven't seen uh, the first two episodes, we're going to talk about the spoilers. So this is your chance to like the video, subscribe, guys, come back to it uh, once you've seen the first two episodes. And so we can talk yep. about it and let us know your thoughts on the first and second episode. Now, um, yes. bit major spoilers here, but we're going to continue. I love young Leia. 100%. Yes, yes. I love that stubborn, feisty attitude. Just like her mother. Just I like Padme, one hundred percent. And just like, and then like you said, we're getting to see uh, her her coming up with the Organas. You know, her becoming you know uh, a senator. You know, growing up yeah. to be the senator and be you know who she is in uh, in the original movies, which is just awesome. My favorite cameo right there was C three PO. I got. Yep, I gotta say, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> I was gonna see. I was like, is that C three PO? And then I heard his voice. And I'm like, yep, that's C three PO. Oh, what other droid is gold? Not many. That's like a, that <laughs> Not many like, droids. C three PO. Now I'm curious if they if it was him. Like the actual um, actor. Yeah. Uh, uh, man. His name. I forgot his name too. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure on his name, but yeah, C3PO was beautiful there. We get to see him. Get to see Leia's life because we never really got to see uh, a, a lot Daniels. too much of Leia's upcoming uh, with the Organas because we we already yeah. know Luke. We already understand where how Luke came up as you know living with Owen in Tatooine and stuff. And it's good to see a young Luke there as well. Yeah. Um, it's crazy to well, see like. I love ahead. seeing Kumar. I love seeing Kumar. Mm -hmm. In it, freaking from Harold and Kumar. Love yeah, it. <laughs> and it's just great to see like uh, what's it called like, and then seeing like uh, Obi Wan's seclusion and just how like yeah. he's just trying to get by. He's just trying to you know go uh, go go through everything. And um, honestly, like like I said, I didn't mind the Inquisitors how they looked, especially uh, uh, the Grand Inquisitor and all that. Like it, it was growing on me. They didn't look too bad in the in the yeah. first and second episode. It grew on me a little bit. At first, it was a little like, ah, they could have done better. But, you know, we got right. what we got. And it, it was all right. It, it was nice. And just seeing their presence and seeing, like, damn, like, they're so close to Kenobi. Like, he's right under their noses. And they never realized that. That's just crazy how well Obi-Wan secluding himself from the right. Force, from the entire galaxy is just just crazy to see Obi-Wan just, you know, like I said, be, uh, being down in the dumps like that and, and like we were talking about his seclusion with yeah. the force and um, him having those nightmares and not being able to contact Qui-Gon, which that's we're hoping we get that cameo sometime right. in the season with, with Qui-Gon Or even just like his at the voice. end of the series, we hear like Obi-Wan like closing his eyes and we hear his voice. Yeah, Qui-Gon's voice. Yeah, that, that would be perfect because it... And like I'm like, said, oh. that would be beautiful. Uh, and so, yeah, episode one really built up to that. And then just kind of like his struggles to, you know, Leia gets kidnapped. And it's just Obi-Wan struggled to be like, you know, his still li reliving the past. But just like or uh, the Senator Organa said, it's like you got to move forward from the past. Right. And and uh, and then I feel like he's finally took that leap of faith. And something that Eagleheart said was... That uh, we, I also feel the same way that maybe Leia is definitely going to be that spark of hope for Obi Wan, you know, to to kind of get back to where he was before with the Force, his connection with the Force, and just kind of having a little bit more hope. Yeah. Because I feel like right now he's just like done with everything. Yes, and I really next spoiler. I really want to talk about it. Go ahead. Episode two. Episode two. Do you think that homeless clone clone was Rex? Oh, it, it's okay. He's got the beard. He's got the whole lookout. You were right yep. about the costume. It looked just like him. I, don't, I mean, I don't, 
He rec he looked weird. He looked at him like if he recognized him. But I would I would think Rex would recognize him too. I guess we will find out in the Ahsoka series if because or or hopefully then to kind of see where would Rex be because what happened to Rex and everybody else after uh, Ahsoka and them split ways. You know what I mean? Uh, right. At the end of the Clone Wars season seven, um, it's just where did he go? Did he really end up there in some kind of backwater planet like that or? Or, you know, what's going on? I, it's just, it, it was great to see Tamora Morrison. And, right. and that confirmed KC, too, that we could potentially see him come back as Rex for the Ahsoka series. He did it there. Why can't we see him in the Ahsoka series as, as Rex? Exactly. Oh, man. That's I, why I'm like, I'm so curious because he has the beard. He is in blue and white like he was originally it's like who else could that be 10 years later i wonder wonder where he could be but that was a crazy crazy cameo right there that's a crazy like little like damn what's going on we're you know what's going on <laughs> oh man and, and like we said that second episode was just full of life guys all yes. the creatures uh, all the aliens around, everything looks so well. It looks so good. Like it, it was, just, it just really brought the world to life, and it was so yeah. good to see that really good mixture of humans and and aliens like that, and We're and and the a way bunch they bring of the... new species. Of aliens yeah, yeah. And... A lot of ones we have, like that raptor guy. Like I had never <laughs> seen a uh, one of those raptor uh, like bounty that hunters like that up. before. Right. So that's More awesome. That giant. Bear, Coca Cola polar thing. bear guy, whatever. <laughs> right? Uh, man. And, and that overweight looking, Wookiee looking Wookie thing. Wookiee looking, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. funny as hell, too. Uh, it was so, it was so nice. The world building was so nice. Uh, it's, it's been awesome. They really, they really did an amazing job with all that. the shots, too. A lot of some very beautiful shots, very beautiful angles that they're taking, uh, yeah. in the show is just absolutely beautiful. Um, now, I think uh, Eagleheart and I can go down to one complaint, or like we said earlier, that uh, Rava, her character, um, I think we can both agree we don't think she is uh, she is our least favorite of the series. Like, I, yeah. I, try, to, I try to understand kind of like her pain or, or whatever, and, but now looking at what she's trying to do is I think she's just trying to please Vader by yeah. finding Obi-Wan. Uh but something that Eagle Heart mentioned was I, I and I kind of see it now is like uh, a little over, uh, over dramatic. I could say just, just, just to yeah. nitpick a little bit. Uh, she's very angry and, and 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 all that, and I can understand that if maybe she's trying to prove herself to the Inquisitors, like the way the Grand Inquisitor was, the, you know, being very demeaning against her, like you're just the, you know, you know, uh, the. The smell of you know just like sewer you know you're the bottom of everything and i can yeah. see i can see her anger to it but i i can see why um she can be a little annoying and spoiler alert here i didn't like that either how she just killed the grand inquisitor in episode two i think that was a yeah. little like at least give us a fight or something or do something uh i can see why she's trying to you know overpass him or whatever but like like damn which I know that's the way uh, the Sith work in, to kill, but I'm like, I don't know. It was just, it was like they took an easy way out. Yeah, episode and two, kill. like, already took out a character like, like that. It's he's like... the Grand Inquisitor. He should have sensed what she was going to do. Yep. Or something, or at least put up a better fight. Maybe, yeah, she could have gotten the upper hand from him, you know, possibly. But just, like, a straight old stab and that was it. Like, I was like, ah, I, uh, it was all right. You know, like, uh, you know, uh, if, if there were any complaints, I think that's that right now. Just the, the minor complaints right now yeah. that I, I don't really like. Uh, but the ending, major spoilers here, is, oh, my God. The fact that Obi-Wan realized... And he sensed it. You can feel that he felt it. Once she brought right? it up, that Anakin Skywalker was not dead. 
but he was actually Vader because he said Vader first. And said, yeah. oh, wait, you don't know? And then it, it's like if it hit him. It's like Anakin Skywalker is alive and breathing and, and just his face. And then what? And then that scene where he says Anakin and it switches over to Vader or and Anakin. eyes open. Yeah, oh. in, in his chamber and his eyes just open instantly. Oh my God, that gave me chills. That was it's such... Like, it's like he just said, well, here's my location. It's like, I know where you are now. I sensed you. I felt you with the force. Oh my God. They couldn't have right. ended the episode in such a crazier way like that. It was beautiful. I loved it. Like I said, the, uh, I think this oh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is going to be a great series. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. What do you guys think? Um, keep, try to keep the uh, the comments a little spoiler-free in case someone hasn't seen it too much. But let us know right. your thoughts on the first two episodes. Let us know your predictions. Yes. Are we going to see the Obi-Wan versus Vader fight? We got the concept art. They've talked about it in yeah. interviews. Can we potentially will, really see that? I, I, I right. would love to. Because there's, a, there's a picture. Will we see the Inquisitors fly? That's the other question. <laughs> I thought she was going to fly there in the city and just hold the right. lightsaber and just fly. I, I'm going to be a little disappointed if they don't fly. At least give us like a second of them just kind of like hovering away somewhere. Not even right. fully fly. At least just hover and like land or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, at least give us something with the with the um with the great right. with the uh uh inquisitors flying with their lightsabers. But let us know your thoughts, guys. Comment below. Uh, let us know what's up. We're gonna keep you guys updated with the Kenobi show. Yeah. We still got a whole week, a couple more days of Star Wars celebration. So that means lots of more Star Wars news coming up. Uh, we today the first day of Star Wars celebration was crazy. We got some video game, uh, not video game, but a lot of TV show news with Andor being uh, being finally get a teaser trailer for him and the release date, and and they revealed uh, another Star Wars show called Skeleton Crew. Uh, so yes, we'll be talking about all that as well and any updates throughout these next couple days of Star Wars Celebration. And keep an eye out, everybody, for a nice little giveaway that I have planned for everybody uh, for the channel. So keep an eye out for that, guys. But Eagle Heart, I think Obi-Wan Kenobi is an awesome series and I can't yes. wait for more. Let's go ahead and yes. send these people out. May the Force be with you, for this is the, this way. Is the way. Thank you, everybody.